Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Singapore vlog. Now, if you guys missed the last video, I showed you guys a bunch of my favorite sneaker shops in Singapore. So if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. I'll leave it linked down below. With that said, today I actually have the second half of that shopping day where I go to a hidden, hidden sneaker outlet in Singapore. So if you're ever in Singapore, make sure you guys check out this low key hidden sneaker outlet. You might find some gems like I did. With that said, if you haven't yet, Enter the Air Jordan 1 Gym Red giveaway. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's at Sneaker Talk CA. Instructions over on there. And of course, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and stick around to the end of the video and comment down below the uh, special little message that I have for you guys. With that said, uh, let's get shopping. Let's get shopping. I'll catch you guys in Singapore. This mall has a couple stores that will be like key indicators for you guys if you come through. They got a KFC, they have a Benjamin Barker, whatever that is, and uh, they have an escalator. It says Kofu down there. So hopefully that can help you guys in one way or another. This is Future Christian coming in to let you guys know exactly where this uh, mall is. The shopping center is called Sign Leisure. It's right beside the Victoria's Secret on Orchard Road. And uh, here's a look at the outside of the uh, shopping center. So pretty solid shopping center. Would recommend you guys check it out. All right, now back to the regularly scheduled broken. The store right here is in the corner and they have a lot of stuff, man. It's like a variety of everything and it's pretty much like a secret store here in Singapore. See, look, no name. It's gotta be a secret store, you know? It's gotta be a secret store. So let's check out this warehouse outlet kind of looking store and, and see what they got. Now they have absolutely like everything here. Like so many different brands. So let's just start with these Converse, man. Like check these out. Regularly 169 Flyknit Converse Chuck Taylors. Now going for $60. They got the blue, they got the purple, they got the gray, which is like an Oreo kind of colorway. We have a ton of New Balance here. And pretty much guys, most of these shoes are between 30 to 50% off. See these New Balance regularly 189, now they're 110 bucks. So a ton of different colorways. Sort of reminds me of the EQT Cushion Advance, the way they have this line here, those Adidas sneakers. We got some Adidas Two Wheeler Shadows for $95, down from 159. I don't think that's the retail price in Canada, but that is a still decent price, I wanna say. But yeah, don't be fooled to think you're saving too much money, cause uh, yeah, these retail prices are a bit high, I believe. We also got some Two Wheeler Shadows. This is a different version of them right here. They also have a ton of different Nike Vapor Maxes as well. This is like the woman's selection, essentially. So we got some Roshi Runs, we got the flying it versions right here a ton of different colorways let's check a look at this pricing so $85 down from 199 yeah I don't think these would be 199 but I mean $85 is still a very solid price they also have a ton of Puma collaborations so check it out we got the Puma and Sonic the Hedgehog collaboration shout out to Sonic for uh, having to change his face for the movie because the CGI was so creepy but yeah we have the RSO Dr. Eggman's for $115 right here we got some Puma Clyde socks for $95 the city version, Manhattan's like skyline. That's pretty cool. They even have a table here for all these sneakers that are 50 to $70. So it's like a clearance rack. So if you guys wanna come through and you're on a tight budget, you know, they got you covered here. $70 for these Gel Light 4s, Gel Light 5s. Not really digging the suede. The suede looks a little dirty. But the colorway is cool. It's like a Jamaican flag, so represent. They have a bunch more Nike sneakers here available as well. They're a bit high, so I can't get to all of them. We got some Nike Cortez. Ooh, we even got some Asics here. They have a lot of Asics available, so check these out. These are on sale for $100. Just $100 for these Asics. Pretty fire. I know these just came out not too long ago. $155 for the Gel Cayenne 25 Torico. And then the Cortez. It's $87 for the black white Cortez. These, I think this is the pair that actually Natty got in Japan, but uh, she left them on the airplane when we got back home in Canada. Should I buy these for her? I really don't have room in the luggage. I feel bad, but I'm gonna have to put these back. I really don't have room in my luggage for more shoes right now. These are cool, another Asics collaboration. I'm not sure what these are. There's a little logo here on the tongue. Uh, I can't really make out what it says. 24 Calates, BKK and BCN but looks really, really high quality. The leather is really nice here. $145, down from $249. They also have the Kayano Trainer for $135. That's a pretty solid price for these. These are nice, $110 for the Denim Asics Gel Light 3. Really good execution for these Asics right here. Got some pretty decent Nikes. We got the Air Max 180s going for $140 in this OG colorway. Got a couple of classics right here. Some Adidas Gazelles going for $80. They got the blue. 
They got the red, they got some tubular runners for $100. Wow, I haven't seen a tubular runner in person in the longest time. This is mainly a leather upper right here, so that's cool. And then they have a red one here too, black and red colorway. Mess with these. We have the Adidas ZX8000 and Junjay collaboration for $280, the white low tops. That's pretty good, that's like half price. I used to have the high tops of these, but I uh, ended up selling them. But that's a really solid price for these right here. And they also have some Jeremy Scott's up there, but I can't really reach it. Apparently they're like a size seven though, so no point even trying to buy them. They just have an absolute plethora of New Balance and Puma sneakers here. So I just gave you guys a quick raw rundown of what they have. They also have a bunch of Nikes. So we also have some SFAF1s right here. We got some Nike sock darts for 150. It's a bit expensive, but Nike sock darts are pretty much like a Nike outlet exclusive for the most part. You always see these outlets for like 80 to 90 dollars, so 150 is a bit much. And they have a navy blue colorway, they have an all olive colorway, and then they have the triple blacks. Really solid pricing too on the Converse One Stars. They have all these different colors for 75 dollars each. I like these ones. This is really good for spring. And then they have a classic black pair right here for 75. And then they have a yellow and like maroon pair. Not really a fan of this colorway. These are crazy guys. These are absolutely crazy. These remind me of like Homer Simpson for some reason. Like a donut ho eating Homer? No. Homer eating a donut. Regularly priced at 260. They dropped down to 90 and now they are $60 for these Jeremy Scots. We also have some Air Force 180s, $135 for these, down from $199. Oh, we have some pretty solid Air Force One selection on sale. We have a like really weird pale suede one for uh, $115. We got a pink one here as well for $115. And these have got to be my favorite, the Air Force One Split Quick Strike, the white and tan. And uh, still looking for the black and white colorway. Those resell for a lot, but this pair is going for 145. That's a solid price point for the splits. So we just finished up at the store, and it's actually called the Left Foot Outlet. So it's actually an outlet, and there's a store called Left Foot right across, all the way over there, which we're gonna go to right now, and I'll show you guys what they have there. So this again is the Left Foot Outlet. They don't have an actual sign up there, but the outlet has been here for three years, so it is uh, it's not new by any means. All right, so we've crossed the uh, the mall. The left foot outlet is right there, and the left foot is right here. And they don't only sell the left foot of the shoes, guys. Don't worry, they sell you the full pair. So uh, yeah, ooh, pretty pretty decent selection right off the start with the Van Skate highs. Okay, so we got the David Bowie Van Skate highs right here. The checkered board with the nice hits of red embroidery on the side. I mess with these heavy. Definitely mess with these. Looks like they even have some more selection from that collection. The all reds with the black midsole. And they also have the black deconstructed ones right here with the checkered board on the inside. And here's the rest of the uh, here's the rest of the vans right here. Pretty solid selection, I have to say. I like the ones with the fire on the side. We've got the Air Max Crazy Light 2s. One of the OG colorways, another one of the OG colorways. We got some M2K Technos as well, a few of the new releases. The Adidas PODs, ooh, love these. You guys know I have this pair right here. Review coming soon on Sneaker Talk 365, my second channel. So subscribe to my second channel if you guys haven't yet already. Link will be down below. We got some Adidas Night Joggers. So it looks like they actually get like a lot of the new releases here. So three colorways of the Adidas Night Jogger. We got some slip-on Vans right here. That's pretty cool. Haven't seen these ones before. So it's like a little, little mismatch kind of print going on. And then we got some more old schools. And then, uh, yeah, let's check out what else they have here. We got some more Adidas section here. We got the Young Ones, we got the Young 96s, some Adidas Night Joggers. We've got the Adidas Derupt S's as well. This is one of my favorite collaborations Puma did on the Puma RSX. It's with the uh, Chinese brand Sanquans. Really nice materials on these right here. They have a really good selection of Puma Thunder Spectras. And then they also have the Puma RSX here as well. I think this is one of the OG colorways they released, or one of the second waves. And then I've actually never seen this colorway before. White with green. I like the hits of green on these. Here's a look at more of the Puma RSX selection. They have the MTV collabs that just came out. They also have the Hot Wheels. And they have my favorite. This is the collaboration with Adder Error, a uh, Korean brand. And these are straight fire. Probably the best Puma RSX they've ever made. The materials on this, the color blocking, the small details, 
I need these in my collection. I know they sold out now in Canada, so I'm trying to find them for below retail, honestly, because I'm not trying to pay full price for all my sneakers at the moment, but if you guys were looking for a Fire Puma RSX, the Outer Air collaboration is by far my favorite. This is cool. I did not know they made a Van Skate High version now of the uh, Ray Polanco Jr. designed Vans with the uh, all-over sticker print. These are pretty nice, in my opinion. If you like Supreme, I'm sure you will mess with these heavy. And these Vans half cabs are pretty cool, too. They have actual fire on the midsole. That's different. That's different. Taking a look at some of the Vans old schools, they have a lot of selection for women's and kids as well. But these ones definitely caught my eye. It has like this all over satin sort of embroidery. Very cool, very flashy. And then they actually have woman sizing available for the deconstructed Vans. I didn't know they made woman sizing. So they have the white ones, they have the black ones. First time I've seen them in that small of a size. By far, they probably have the best Puma selection in Singapore. They have a lot of collaborations from the Puma XOs, and they even have the uh, the Han Kajob. I don't even know how to say the last name. Kajobenhaven, uh, but people call it just uh, the Puma Han collab. This is the RSX. Not really a fan of the color blocking on the shoe. I like the shoe, but it's just not something I think I could wear. And they even have the Puma uh, RS100 Rollins right here. Love these shoes. Very very unique. And then they have the uh, RSOs as well. And what's these? Oh, a Polaroid. The Polaroid RS100s. I didn't know they actually made these. That's pretty cool. And last but not least, we have the Puma Majesty. A collaboration, I guess, with Ralph Sampson. And these are really, really nice Puma high tops. I'm not used to seeing Puma high tops, so it's a nice uh, change of pace. A little refreshing, I'd have to say. And the colorway is really clean as well. And these are going for $169. So that's what was called Left Foot. If you are in the uh, Orchard Road, Orchard Street area, I definitely recommend you guys check it out. They're going to have a lot of sneakers that the other stores don't have. And if you're a fan of The Killers, they were playing The Killers album the entire time. I love The Killers, the, the band. I don't like actual killers, unless I'm The, I'm the Killer in Apex Legends. But you should follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash sneakertalksda. I will be the greatest killer Pathfinder main of all time. All right, I'm getting a little distracted. I think now we're gonna go link up with Tim, and uh, we're gonna go to San Marina Bay, one of the most expensive hotels in Singapore. We're checking in there tonight, baby. We're checking in. We're gonna get an amazing view. We're gonna eat some delicious buffet foods, and uh, I'm hyped. If you guys ever watch Crazy Rich Asians, it's the hotel that looks like a ship. It's in the middle of the air. It's amazing. So stay tuned for some insane views, and uh, yeah, let's just get going. <laughs> Room tour time, room tour time. So we're here at 4885. Hit that room key, boom. And uh, the lights are on, but typically the room key here activates the lights and turns everything on. And it even opens up the curtains automatically, which is doing now, which is pretty lit. Here we have the room. Got some room service right here. Got my bags. And uh, yeah, this is the room. It's typically like 400 to 600 US dollars per night. We got one bed here. We got another bed here. We even have a third bed here. And then uh, yeah, we have a little, little lounge here. We have a really nice chair. Really nice fancy chair. I'm pretty sure this is like a designer chair. And then uh, we got a Philips TV. A little disappointed with the TV. I was expecting like a really nice Samsung or something. And you can actually open the uh, balcony. Step outside for the humidity. It is a view. This is an amazing, epic view. And it's really humid, so the lens is starting to fog up. So let me let me get that for you guys. <laughs> I do gotta mention that the beds are incredibly, incredibly nice. Like it's super nice memory foam. The sheets are heavenly. The pillows are very, very fluffy. I'm got a giant mirror right here. And then checking out the restroom. The restroom is straight fire. The restroom is a room itself. Like this place is huge. So we have a massive bathtub. We have a huge mirror here. There's the towel racks and stuff. We've got two sinks. We have a walk-in shower, which is pretty fire. And it's, it's also pretty big, so that's nice. And then the toilets, the toilets is pretty fire as well. 
It doesn't warm your butt. But luckily, the toilets in Japan do. And that's actually where we're going next. This is the morning after checking in. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in Japan. Smash subscribe, smash like, smash comment, smash everything. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment down below. Singapore vlogs were lit. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Playlist link down below for all my vlogs. And uh, yeah, Instagram, sneaker talk CA. Peace out. Have an amazing day.